Hey gang, welcome to another edition of MagicReview.com. Today we have Auto Spell Deck by Devin Knight. A no memory, self working miracle. And I think I agree with that statement. I gave it 4.5 stars, stone status of gem. This is all you get this little book and this deck of cards, which is a special deck of cards. Uh, it's gimmicked, um, but it's set up, it's made in such a way that you can. You know, spread the cards and kind of casually show them. They couldn't really inspect them. But the effect that you get is very, very clean because of the method. Sorry, my drawer was open. It was bugging me. Anyway, the me the effect that you get is uh, the spectator can cut the deck as many times as they want. Your back, can, you can be in the other room while this is going on. They take a look at the top card. They bury it somewhere in the deck. And then you come back into the room and you... Say, hey, I'm just going to, I don't know what your card is, which is true. I don't know where you buried it, which is true. Uh, and you say, uh, I'm going to take the deck and cut it so that I somehow sense the right position to cut it to. So you cut it and you cut it, we'll say. <laughs> um, and then the spectator can name their card and they handle the cards at this point. They deal face up counting as they say their card was a four of hearts. F O U R. They're dealing the cards face up, and after they've spelled four of hearts, they will spell two the four of hearts or whatever their card was. And they're seeing the cards go by as they're being dealt face up. It's not like you just got a whole deck full of four of hearts or anything like that. So that's the effect, and this deck allows you to very cleanly do that without any extra work. You don't have to do anything. Um, you just have to be able to do a false cut, and you don't even have to do that. He doesn't mention this in the the book. The way I would do it if I did this effect, I wouldn't even touch the deck ever. I wouldn't do the cut. Because the idea of the false cut is you're supposedly cutting it to the right place to make it spell to their card. What I would do is say, you've buried your card somewhere in the deck. I'm going to, you know, magically, without even touching the deck, cause your card to change its position and go exactly to the spot where you can spell to it. That's how I would do it. That way I'd never have to actually touch the deck. Either way, that's the effect. Um, I'm not a huge fan of spell tricks. I've, I've got one or two I play around with every now and then, but I'm not a big diehard spell trick guy. But if you are a spell trick person, I think this is a very good method, a very clean method, very easy method, self-working method. Um, so that's it. Not a whole lot to say about it. I wrote a few details down in the written review that you can see in the link below. Um, other than that, there you go. 4.5 star stone status of gem for Devin Knight's auto spell deck um oh i was about to do that i ran in my tune song at the moment but i should mention the ad copy totally legitimate the ad copy is honest it, you get exactly what they claim that you get just want to make sure i pointed that out now the random my tune song of the moment is <laughs> taylor swift <laughs> sparks fly yes this is from the speak now album you guys know I'm a Taylor Swift fan. Come on, don't laugh. I hear you mocking me. I told you my top three playlists are Metallica, number one, number two, Taylor Swift, and number three, Iron Maiden. Bam. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. I'll see you on the next review. Peace and out. <laughs>